rain in some of the, the milder air. But remember, with all this mild air. This weather scope is sponsored by Carpet and Rug Institute. It's soft, it's warm, it's home. New carpet, it just feels better. This is weather scope. Good morning, New York City. This is a live view of the Big Apple from the Brooklyn Bridge. It's going to be a wet day for you in much of the Northeast. Welcome to Weatherscope. I'm Marshall Seas. Cold temperatures are reaching deep into the south this morning. That's right, they are. We'll take a look at that in a moment. I'm Rick Griffin. Welcome to Weatherscope. Snowflakes are appearing in Alabama and Georgia. While it's rain, that will make streets slick in the Northeast. Let's take a look. We've got some heavy rain, as a matter of fact. Right along the Jersey Shore near Seaside and Tom's River and the Garden State Parkway is very slippery, slippery, that is, with reduced visibility because of the rainfall, which is quite steady in here. And look at the moderate rain back in Philadelphia, Allentown as well. And right now, Baltimore and Washington, you're seeing the rain mix with snow. Now, the road surfaces are warm enough, so we do not expect any accumulation here. Plus, the precipitation is tapering off. But back here in the hills of Pennsylvania, there's been five or six inches of snow overnight. And you can see a moderate band of snow still right here in uh, Huntington County, central part of the state. Phillipsburg south into the high terrain west of Harrisburg. That's where most of the accumulation has taken place and in some cases up to a half a foot. It is snowing in Harrisburg now, and it's coating the grassy surfaces with some slushy accumulation at this time. New York City, here comes the rain, raining on the Long Island Expressway, the Merritt Parkway. That highway will get a little wet and slick as the rain moves in, and Boston expects some rain here within the next couple of hours, all due to low pressure swirling off the Jersey Shore this morning. It's not a major storm, but as you can see on the satellite and here on the surface map, a fairly uh, good-sized area of precipitation. Mostly rain, but again, snow back in this region. By the way, the highways in western Maryland are a little slushy, as well as the West Virginia Turnpike, and two or three inches of snow have fallen as far south as Avery, Ash, and Watuga counties in western North Carolina overnight. As I mentioned last time, that's two or three inches more snow that's fallen the entire winter in D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City. So for you snow lovers, it has not been a very good winter so far, but for travelers, of course, again, you're dealing with liquid precipitation. Lots of snow shower activity back through the Great Lakes and Midwest. Let's check on temperatures. 36 Boston, 40s New York, Philadelphia, 29 in Elkins. It's a little below freezing in Pittsburgh. Crisp in the south. Atlanta's 31. Jackson, 2. New Orleans in the 40s, 50s, Tampa and Miami. 
Well, we have high pressure in Texas, ridging into Florida. Nice day coming up. Snow flurries, they're tapering off in North Georgia. The clouds are thinning, and radar will confirm that the snow shower activity is leaving or dissipating over North Georgia, but still some flurries in the mountains of North Carolina and in middle Tennessee. We'll keep you posted. Marshall. And all that light snow is rotating around major low pressure that encompasses about the eastern half of the country. And there's shifting temperatures in the Midwest, so that's making it possible if you're getting up in St. Louis, for example, to see snow showers one minute and rain the next minute. Temperatures moving between the 33 and the 35 degree mark in St. Louis this morning. Warmer in St. Louis than it is in Birmingham and Atlanta by about four degrees. There's that big area of low pressure. It's just huge, isn't it? From the Dakotas southward to the southeast, the mid-Atlantic and the northeast, ushering down cold, chilly air tonight, frost freeze advisories for the Carolinas. As these little impulses move around the spokes in the wheel, if you will, you get those little snow bursts. That's what's occurring around Mason City, Iowa right now. And over in Wisconsin, generally about one inches, one inches, one inches snow has fallen over the last 24 to 36 hours, but Eau Claire has picked up four. Chicago's picked up about an inch. There's been a dusting south of Springfield, and it's snowing up in Minneapolis now, but between Minneapolis and Rochester to Winona, we've got some freezing drizzle that fell overnight too, and that's created some icy roads on those areas that are untreated. But notice over here about Rapid City in the northern Black Hills, Finally, we've turned off the snow after 103 inches fell at Lead, South Dakota. Galena, 94 inches, and Deadwood had significant snow, too, over four feet of the white stuff. It's going to continue to look like this, the weather map, all day long today. Unsettled conditions, light snow. Make sure the windshield wiper washers are in good order because you're going to need them today. 33 at Chicago, 28 degrees out in Des Moines, and the wind chill makes it feel like 10 below at Sioux Falls. There's your current map. All this snow is going to slowly edge its way to the east. The east has rain right now. How long is that going to be there, and when's it all going to end? Here's Rick with the forecast. Thanks a lot, Marshall. Let's check out our lunchtime weather map. We can still see a little bit of rain left over in the northeast, and that Although it does not include Boston yet, probably by midday, light rain in eastern Massachusetts, including Boston, Bedford, and the Cape, Providence, and New York City, uh, too. Now, over and west of the mountains, patchy light snow or snow showers, widespread, as you can see, from actually East Tennessee all the way to the Arrowhead of Minnesota, including Michigan's upper, <clears throat> excuse me, Michigan's upper peninsula. High pressure in the south, 